here's where it gets crazy. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Matt. And this is Stuff, stuff They, they don't, don't Want You, you to know. know. Uh, this week we are looking at NGOs or non-governmental organizations. You've heard of these before. You've probably associated them with charities or political causes like conservation. It's like the Red Cross or Human Rights Watch. Uh, but what exactly is an NGO? Well, according to the UN, it's any nonprofit voluntary citizens group which is organized on a local, national, or international level. Yeah, that's pretty vague, but that definition is necessarily open ended because different countries have differing opinions about what exactly an NGO is or what it's supposed to do. NGOs are popular across the planet with around 1.5 million in the US alone. But all these organizations aren't treated equally. Some are more effective, well regarded, and some are more trustworthy than others. And not everyone believes that NGOs are on the up and up to begin with. You talking about who I think you're talking about? Oh yeah, Putin. Putin. That's right, Vladimir Putin, the number one man in Russia, believes that many US-based NGOs are actually fronts for intelligence agencies working to destabilize parts of the Russian sphere of influence. Yeah, so uh, sphere of influence, this would be places like Ukraine, Georgia, Kazakhstan, and so on. According to Putin, many of the pro-democracy uprisings in and around Russia have been orchestrated by foreign powers, and several of the NGOs operating inside the country aren't trying to help make things better, they're trying to intervene in domestic politics. Which, depending on what that means, isn't especially crazy. International NGOs work to change policy and government all the time, especially regarding regarding things like environmental law, LGBT rights, uh, labor conditions. But what Putin seems to be more concerned about is that the CIA, MI6, NATO, and other groups are using the pretense of democracy and human rights to potentially overthrow the current status quo in Russia. Now in the West, this news sounds like a crazy conspiracy theory, and they point out that Maduro in Venezuela, along with other so-called dictators, uh, has made similar statements. So what if these leaders are just crying conspiracy to delegitimize these political protests? It's a good question. But it's also true that if an intelligence agency is using an NGO as a front, it wouldn't be the first time. Often a government might attach an operative as a part of an NGO team, allowing that agent to work undercover and circumventing various registration laws. And to this end, Russia approved a Foreign Agents Act in 2012, compelling all NGOs conducting political activities to register with Moscow. Prosecutors came down hard on organizations as well as individual leaders. And the U.S. was not happy. No, with or the NGOs for that matter. So is this a defensive move against encroaching foreign spy powers? Or is it a repressive move against human rights? Like we said, other governments have done similar things. In the U.S., in fact, a recent law requires all NGOs receiving government funding to be investigated for any links to terrorism. And it's true that governments and non-state actors like this will always have a potentially dangerous relationship. But yeah, enough about us. Uh, what do you think? Was Russia right to crack down on NGOs, or was this just a rationalization for stamping out pro-democracy uprisings? And how many of these uprisings actually came from the people? How many were instigated by a foreign power? Let us know in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll, we'll be making new videos every single week. Yeah, you can also check out our website for all of our audio podcasts and even more stuff they don't want you to know. Oh, we were going to tell them. Guys, so you know how we put classics out every Monday? Uh, you saw the last one, the 1001 Club? Mm -hmm. Well, we're not going to be doing that anymore. Uh, we only have a couple left and we're going to save them for when Ben and I have to be you know, out of town. Yeah, sometimes you have to drop off the grid. Uh, however, if you do some digging, you can still find all of our old episodes in various corners of the internet. Um, we will still be moving those to our new channel. But even better, uh, we are always going to be bringing you new videos at the end of the week and an update on Wednesdays like this one. So keep watching. If you like what you see, let us know. If you don't like something, let us know. Yeah, and if you want to help us with new episodes, all of our best ideas come from you. So please do send us an email. Our address is conspiracy at howstuffworks.com. I don't, I don't have a cup. So. That's a good coffee. Yeah. Uh, it's like a, it's like a caramel oh thing. Oh man, that's nice. Yeah, I went, I went fancy this time. Well, I guess I'll go get some. Oh uh, yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.